Hey guys, what is up? It's Todd here. Today I'm going to be doing an enhancing components video and in this video I'm going to show you four different items and I know there are many many more that you can do that will give you decent if not good enhancing components and I want to, to show you the amount of money that it would cost you per enhancing component. So down below there are four enhancing components that I'm going to be showing you. I'll also be showing you the cost that it get uh, takes to obviously buy them and that sort of thing so that you guys can work out yourselves if it's a good or not method to get enhancing components. I wanted to do this as a tester video because invention is still a skill that many people are doing so I wanted you guys to know or I wanted to know if you guys like this type of video. If you do let me know down below. If you want me to do other components I will do them and if, and if you want me to do training methods as well I will do those as well. But if you guys like this video please like it and comment down below and if you guys don't really think I should put any more time into this please let me know also because it is very time consuming to make this kind of video I hope you guys enjoy have a great day whatever you're doing and yeah enjoy the video okay guys so after breaking down the rings of slaying I managed to spend 94,000 making them uh, in GP uh, and I managed to receive 26 enhancing components 43 precious 504 delicate 409 connector parts 450 smooth parts and each enhancing component or enhanced component cost me 3634 GP coming in currently obviously at the cheapest one that you could do so let's check out the other ones and see exactly how much it would cost you to get enhancing components okay guys so I started breaking down the anti poison plus pluses after this I spent 4 mil GP on 300 of these after breaking them down I received 37 enhancing components 14 healthy 422 delicate 352 crafted and 343 organic each enhanced component was costing me 109k which is really really expensive but still quite a lot of enhancing composed components so i wonder how it will uh, go against the last two items i have okay guys so then i broke down ruby rings i broke down 300 of these and i spent 816k on this i got nine enhancing components 186 connectors 281 delicate 24 precious 179 smooth and it cost me 90k per enhancing component so i wouldn't suggest to do these but they are still half decent as for enhancing components okay guys so i broke down 300 crystal flasks after this i spent 477k on them and i received 23 enhancing parts 220 clear parts 143 delicate and 165 smooth each enhanced component cost me 20k with crystal flasks and this personally was my own uh, enhancing component item that you could break down I found this when I was just like going through the list on room wiki and I thought it was a pretty good one so I wanted to add it in so I hope you guys agree that it's pretty pretty good and you guys will use it if you can't do rings of slaying so guys after all the results for the enhancing components and the items that we broke down I would like you guys to decide which one you guys would be using of course rings of slaying was the cheapest but is it the best what do you guys think obviously I've given you all the information you need so you can choose which one you'd rather do um, I think with rings of slain it's more time invested so you have to actually do a lot more to get the enhancing components whereas if you want quick enhancing components and you don't want to have to do any legwork crystal flasks are the best I would say but if you guys let me know what you think and what enhancing components you uh, get from what items down below in the comments that would be great and if you guys have any more video ideas on in invention components that you would like to see let me know down below in the comment section and I will be sure to do them as soon as I can thanks for watching the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed please let me know if this is something you want to see more of in the future and I will see you guys next time have a great day whatever you're doing and happy runescaping as always